Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So in the previous video we added the his admin on the users and we work with uh, admin route here. Yeah, only the admin because we defined the gate. So if I open the app service provider, we have defined here a gate. Okay. And because we are not logged in, let's go and register first. And then if we navigate the slash admin, we have this action is unauthorized. Okay. Now in this video, I'm going to create a middleware for the admin. And when you navigate the admin, and if the user is admin, I'm going to display uh, a table with all the posts we have in our project. Good. So for that, I'm going to remove this gate from here. Let's save, let's close, and let's open the web routes. Here, instead of this one, I'm going to use a middleware, but for now, let's leave it like this. And I'm going to remove this uh, middleware from the post show, because right now, if I navigate the posts, and log out, we cannot see a single post until we are logged in. We need to be logged in to see the post. But I don't want that, so let's remove this one and let's save. Now let's create the middleware first and also the controller for the admin. So I'm going to open the terminal and let's say artisan php artisan make colon middleware and the name is going to be is admin middleware okay and also i'm going to create a controller for the admin so artisan make colon controller admin controller okay Let's close and let's open the is admin middleware. And here I'm going to check uh, if the user. Yeah, we can check here or we can add this. So if I come here, we can add the out middleware and then the admin middleware. But let's leave it. Let's uh, also check if the auth check and also I'm going to check if the auth user we don't have this as a role but I'm going to say is admin like this return the next request otherwise I'm going to say just uh, abort or we can return to something else but for now I'm going to say abort for all three save close and now we need to register that uh, middleware and we need to open the app.php inside the bootstrap and we have our, our register this can view post the previous videos now let's say dollar sign middleware and also here i'm going to add an alias and here add an array is admin import is admin uh, middleware okay save and close and now here we need to use that so middleware and the alias is is admin okay if i save that and we are logged in but we are not admin if i navigate slash admin we have 403 okay now let's work with the controller so here instead of the function i'm going to use that controller so i'm going to say uh, add an array and uh, use the admin controller class and the method name is going to be index let's save and let's open now the admin controller and let's create the method so public function index And here I'm going to say dollar sign post to be equal with post all.
import the post model all and then I'm going to return a view admin index passing the post here. We don't have this admin index, we need to create that. So let's go to views and here I'm going to create a new file. It is going to be inside the admin and the name is going to be index.blade.php. Hit enter and I'm going to open the post index. Let's select all here, copy. Close this and paste it here. Okay. Here we make a for each post. If I save that and let's navigate or first we need to log out and log in as admin. Okay, and also let's add here a link then if we are admin to navigate admin, okay? So let's open the navbar. I'm going to copy this post link and I'm going to check here if the auth user is admin. I'm going to paste that link, but also I'm going to check here auth, auth check, and then also the auth user is admin. Save and a refresh. We have, yeah, and we need to change that to be admin. The sheriff is going to be admin, also the request admin and save now let's click here and as you can see we are in the slash admin and we have this but i want to add here a table instead of something like this so here on the flow by tables now we have some tables here but i'm going to choose this one which is the first one and just copy and let's go on the index and here, I'm going to add first, or let's just paste that in. I'm going to save and let's see now how it's going to look. Yeah, like this. Okay. We need to make some changes here. So I'm going to display the ID of the post, the title. Okay, so here is the the head, what we have, what we see here, the title, and that's it. Also, we can display the created ad, and this I'm going to leave it empty because I'm going to have the edit and delete button. So here now. Remove the others and leave only one. And this one I'm going to put in the for else. I'm going to use the for else. And here I say the last line post as a post and paste that in. Now if we are empty, and I'm going to just say no post. Okay. Good. But if we have posts, here we are going to display the ID of the post, the last and post ID, here the title, here the created ad, and here I'm going to add two links to edit and delete the post. But for now, let's say just edit and delete. Okay, now let's see, as you can see, we have the ID, title, create a thought, and the hard code to edit and delete. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video, what I wanted to show you. So now we have some uh, kind of uh, admin area where only the admin users can uh, visit and can see all the posts. So let me just log out and register with the new user and I'm going to create a new post with this user use the fake filler here okay create a new one 
let's log out login with the admin now navigate the admin now we have four posts as you can see okay friends now if you like such a videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much